Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play. Um, Pathfinder Kingmaker, the release version, episode 83. Uh, last time we went and dealt with the members of Amiri's Barbarian Tribe, which basically kicked us out. I checked the journal, there doesn't seem to be anything else at least immediate to do. So, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, do some more kingdom stuff unless something's come up while we were coming back to town that's worth investigating Here you go, a little something from old Boken. Protection from arrows, potion of legal splendor, and protection from fire. If you need anything in particular, just let me know. If you're not sure, I'll go home and think of something myself. My bones ache. Thank you. This will prove useful. You may go now. My pleasure. I only hope no one throws it away or leaves it to rot in some old chest. Oh well. I never did get any of the other crafters yet. Could be that I screwed up some ta some quests I should have done, and we do still need to build the dwarven crafters area, so that's at least one of them. Okay. So we have rank ups we can do. Let's check events. So we have this one, which we still have two more months before we have to do. Let's go ahead and start this one. And in fact, while we're at it, let's go ahead and we can't do this one. Okay. So let's go ahead and projects. We have lots of those. So economy. These almost all cost large amounts of money. Training. This one cost a hundred. That's interesting. I don't want to spend a hundred right now. Do I have two hundred sixteen? Curses. Research in the nature, research in the nature. Other. Divine protection. This is the one that the dwarf wants. It would take thirty days and would take our treasurer. Hmm. I bet we get something nice for that, but I'm afraid I'm probably going to hold off. So we do have some money. So let's go ahead and see what we can build in our main capital. I think we've gone for all our free stuff. Okay, we have our jail. So if we build a barracks, 
So it won't be adjacent to a longhouse, but it would update the jail, giving us plus one stability. So let's go ahead and build a barracks here, which isn't super expensive, but a fort is super expensive. This one can go anywhere, Lau. Plus one when adjacent to barracks, and a plus one when adjacent to fort. Let's go ahead and build. Oh, we can't build a fort because a fort is a two string one. So we can't build a fort right there because of the way we have stuff set up, which is fine. Plus one community. So we already have a brewery, we have a cistern, granary gives us a plus community, library. Lumberyard. I think we have piers. Can we build piers? Now apparently we can't build piers. Sacred school, school, a smithy. This one economy, windmill. Okay, so let's go and look at one of the other places. I don't see anything. Did we already build the wizard's tower? I don't see that listed here. There it is. It's mage's tower. in a separate slot. I can never remember how you rotate these. I know there's a way to rotate them. I have no idea what it is. Well, let's go ahead and go to one of the other new places we built. And upgrade their buildings a little bit. So we just built a place here. We haven't built anything else. So let's see what we can build. Yeah, you can't build a mage's tower until you can increase the town. So that's a little... So let's go ahead and build the wooden wall. Let's see, barracks or plus one military, brewery, granary, the halflings brewery, which we could still build, herbalist house. We got a long house. So a shop when adjacent to a tavern. Let's build a tavern here.
And the shop here. And the barracks here. Okay, that should be enough of building. So let's see which people we can advance this month. So rank up. So we have treasurer who I don't think is available. Curator, high priest, and counselor. So counselor is not available. High priest is not available. Curator's not available. Apparently I bet managed to cleverly set everyone you're available. Okay, we're going to use you. And we had tons of events come up. Okay, so you're now level four, like level five economy. So our economy is doing well. Plus three loyalty, we're glad on that. Plus two culture, plus two economy, good on that. Plus three military, we're good on that. Did not find the paladin, so we failed there. So let's go to events. So we have treasury quest our attention. Problem with a greedy tax collector. Didn't we just have a greedy tax collector? Could have sworn we just had a greedy tax collector. And I thought we just had an enchanted win. That expand expires next month. But that's an opportunity. This is a problem. So let's give our regent some experience. Okay, so I think we took care of the events that needed to be taken care of. So this one we got until next month to decide to do. If we do it, it takes our high priest. Okay, well let's see what the request from the treasurer is first. Dracia, it's time we discuss one of the gravest problems of the River Kingdoms, piracy, and all the crimes which accompany it. You see, for decades, the illegal trade of stolen goods flowed along among the criminals and corrupt merchants of these lands. Now that we have guards in the harbors and along the roads, this illegal traffic has slowed, but only somewhat. Someone else might suggest you take advantage of the situation, simply collect your fees, and don't ask questions. Too many questions about the blood these goods are soaked in. But as a traveler far and wide, experience has taught me that real wealth only gathers where there's no robbery or smuggling. The major trade unions won't want to deal with one who promotes piracy. I warn against tolerating these things as they now stand. Establish proper customs in your harbor and hunt down these lawless captains. The shadow trade must be put to end. I command the establishment of proper customs. So that gave me plus two community, plus one economy, plus two relations, and plus two stability. New events support the treasurer's endeavors, customs, improving economic status. Okay. So let us go back here.
So plus one economy. Yay. Three new projects. So this one costs a lot of money, but will reduce the cost of buildings, but doesn't expire. This one costs a lot of money. But would give us plus two bonus to solving any problem with our treasurer. <coughs> well, let's see who we're going to rank up. We can rank up the treasurer again. Which might not be horrible. The curator available now? Yeah, curator's available. High priest? High Priest is available. And the Counselor is available. So which of these are the lowest? So Loyalty is a 3. That's Divine. Our Divine is a 2. Let's do Divine. So let's go back to events. Can we do someone besides divine on that? No, he's our divine. Well, bummer. How about this one? So we can send you to the mineral springs. And then we will rank up our divine. Which will give us a better plus. We need to get some of these low numbers up so that we have better pluses on completing these, depending on which advisor we use. Okay. It gives us a plus three community. Well, you didn't give us a minus, but... Uh, he didn't help us much either. Minus three loyalty, but plus 11 economy. Okay, new events. A high society way at wedding. This is an opportunity that expires on the 10th. So we will let that sit for the moment. So we could make him become more efficient, but we'd have to spend money. Speaking of which, we should spend money on another town. Let's look at this town. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we can build a pier. Okay, so then we could build, I don't see a slot for walls. We can build walls. So let's build a watchtower. Barracks. And was it shop? It's adjacent to a tavern. So tavern. Adjacent to a longhouse. Gives us plus one relations, plus one espionage when adjacent to barracks.
Let's get some espionage going. And then let's go ahead and put a shop next to that. Okay, we want to keep money in our reserves, so that should get that town up and going. And nothing new seems to come up adventure-wise. we still got three more people we can upgrade. So let's go ahead and skip a day. And skip another day. Okay. Nothing new showed up. I think our treasurer is busy. Yeah, he's still busy. Our curator. You're not busy. We're up to rank two culture. Yay. We had four events low. Well, we'll send our storyteller out. He just went up a level. So this one is a problem. Have Tristan take care of this one. This one's an opportunity, but we have to do it by the end of the month. Only takes 10 days. And this one is an opportunity. Okay. So let's check up our rank up again. So are you available? You're still not available. And you're not available. I should have plan that out better than I did, shouldn't I have? Yep, I definitely should have. So this one expires in two months, so we don't have to do that one. This one, we got somebody working on. Oh no, we haven't got anyone working on it. He's just the only choice. Herbalist. We haven't had you do anything for a long time. Let's have you go. Start an event. Both of you guys are busy. And that one can wait. That one would use our high priest. Problem with this one is it costs so much to raise their stats. And it takes 20 days to solve, so get our high priest out for the next thing. Customs. That one takes him who's not available. Let's look at economy ones. Bronze shield. How long is that going to take? 100 gold, 30 days. Let's go ahead and restore the old fortress. This one gives us 500, but then they don't do anything for us. This one costs 1,500 BP, but would raise 
five per week, two per town in each village. This is one definitely to do later in the game. This one would give us 500, but then we'd have to pay more until we get the one that gets rid of it. So that one would give us plus one BP per week. This one will give us four per week. Most of these, if you don't do them early, they're not worth it. This one we could sort of afford. It's the best deal. We don't have someone who can do it right now, but... And we do have a new region we can claim, but we need 375 BP. Which means we would need at least 24,000 gold. Let's, let's prune our magic items that we're not going to use. And uh, see if we can get enough money to get enough build points to go ahead and incorporate that last territory. Okay. That's weird. Okay, so we're fine with our Blessed Path armor. He actually needs less armor than this because this actually cuts down his dexterity a little. But I don't know that we have any armor lighter. So that one does max of five. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. Doesn't really do anything for him. Won't work. Won't work. That is mithril counts as medium. It's a breastplate. Chainmail plus two counts as a medium. Breastplate plus two. So nothing for him. You can't wear armor. You can't wear armor. You've already got plus one full plate. You're wearing full plate. We don't have anything better. So your armor class, nine, because that's not magical full plate. So do we have something better? Armor class five. Armor class ten, if you wear banded. Armor class ten, if you wear half plate. Eight, seven, eight, eight, and eight. So we can get plus two half plate, or we can get plus three banded. Neither of them are going to let her keep her whole dex bonus. But this only lets her keep one in his armor class nine. So let's go ahead and give her the plus three banded. Okay. You can only wear light armor and I don't have any light armor that's probably any better than five. 
This is five, but gives a trickery skill bonus. Looks like the only armor you could wear. Do we want to give you the trickery bonus? You have four in trickery right now. The other people are up too high a dexterity for that. You have a plus four dexterity. Which just would let you still use all of it. We're going to go ahead and swap you out. The other one won't have the same armor, so that's fine. We have no armor you can wear, but we do have new weapons for you. So a keen Kakuri and a plus one Kakuri. So at least you get better weapons out of it. You already have your bombardier's jacket. You, you're wearing plus two leather. Chain shirt will give you the same, so we're fine there. You could, you already have a shield. Okay, you're wearing plus one full plate. I think we will leave you with that. You are wearing full plate, armor class nine. So we could give you this, which is an eight. Give you that seven. That's a nine. You already have that. That's a ten. You have a minus on deck, so that doesn't help anything. So let's go ahead and put you in the plus two. That gives you a better armor class. And you have freedom of movement. You can still only wear light armor. And you already have something better. You can't use a shield. And you have a reasonable weapon, so I think that does it. Where the rest of this stuff we can go sell. Oh, we still have the extra plus two. Who are we getting? What do you have? You have a plus one. Let's go ahead and give you a plus two because you're my backup cleric. You have a plus one. You don't have anything. So we will give you the plus one. And you use a two-handed weapon. You already have a plus two light shield, so you don't need a plus two light shield. You don't use a shield. You don't use a shield. Can you use a shield? No. And no. You don't use a shield. You use two-handed weapons. You use a big shield. You can't use a shield. You can't use a shield. You could use the shield. Does it give a minus? Doesn't affect your dexterity or armor check. So you got your cold iron hand axe and your frost battle axe. Let's go ahead and give you the shield. So when you have to fight melee, you got a slightly better armor class. Okay. And we are way past the wrapping up point. So I will go sell this stuff. And next episode we will continue. So as always if you enjoyed this episode. Go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you disliked the episode. Leaving a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always this is Spidey1958. And have fun gaming.